It is said that the power of a burst tire on a truck is equivalent to that of a bomb. The resulting fragments are enough to kill a man. Adam lets the flat tire continue to spin at high speed to see if the fragments could hit the dummy. As the drive wheels continue to accelerate, smoke starts to billow from the tire, with debris flying everywhere. For safety reasons, James pauses the experiment, but by now the tires were in a terrible state, while the dummy next to it is unharmed. It seemed a difficult test to achieve, but through the camera, you can see some of the debris flying nearly 200 feet away, so they were going to launch the tire fragments directly. In order to get the pieces to reach the same speed as when they exploded, they rebuilt the launcher. When the cargo truck started its engine and accelerated to 40 miles an hour, James sends the previous tire shard between the two wheels. The fragments were instantly launched and crashed through the front wood panel. The two men were surprised by the force of the impact. What would happen if it hit a person in the head, with no one willing to be tested? Adam had to make a dummy using tissue replacement glue and used a pig bone as a human spine. He then placed it right in front of where the shards were flying to see if the shard could penetrate the window and hit the 